tsabelele as procedure amongst the leadership of the church is confession my pole Barutu who are running our churches are gradually excluding one fundamental pillar of this church. It is important to remind to Putero that before church services are commenced, Baruti Bommel Putero, Baswanetu Wepule, Wintuki Shetawa Mogadachero, Logora Pella Moto Alukuluri. The, this is the process of confession that must precede the services and, of course, one of the fundamentals of the Zion Christian Church. My prayers are very important and are the cleansing procedure to prepare ourselves to a real commitment to prayers of Mount Zion. By encouraging our congregants to conf confess before our church services proves that as Baruti, who are involved with our congregants. We are committed to serve Mudimu Atabasio. We will be beginning with Christ's command. To love one another as found in John 13, verse 34 and 35. A new command I give you love one another as I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are the disciples if you love one another. This is not an option, it is Jesus Christ's charge. Equally so, it is one of the ZCC professional Bible call to all our members, globally and here in Rotherham. Balan John Wapele, verse 4, chapter 10. This is love, not that we loved God, but He loved us and sent His Son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Your If there are conflicts amongst yourselves, Pick up the church literature containing guidance on how to resolve such problems. Yeah. 
as complete structures. These guidelines are many. In case you cannot resolve such problems, refer them to the headquarters, Moria. But to exercise your leadership responsibly and in an atmosphere of trust and acceptance, slowly and surely Putero will love you, will pray for you and with you and always wish you the best in your leadership. Treat everybody equally as I've always teach you. Please, as true members of the church, love one another. If we love one another, we are sure that we shall not pass judgment on each other, as Romans chapter 14, verse 13 says. Therefore, let us stop passing judgment on one another. Instead, make up your mind not to put any stumbling block or obstacle in the way of a brother or sister. We shall not hate or even hate one another as reflected in Galatians. Chapter 5, verse 15, as aptly put as follows. If you bite and devour each other, watch out or you will be destroyed by each other. Uh, if you fight among each other, we shall not slander one another as acute in James 4 verse 11. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, do not slander one another. Anyone who speaks against a brother or sister or judges them speaks against the law and, and judges it. When you judge the law, you are not keeping it, but sitting in judgment on it. <laughs> We shall not grumble against one another, as clearly stated in James 5, verse 9. Don't grumble against one another, brothers and sisters, or you will be judged. The judge is standing at the door. In conclusion, if there is a mutual respect, recognition and acceptance of one another, there will be tremendous progress that will attract all who are outside our church. That will symbolize growth through your efforts, your prayers, and our prayers in the name of Mount Zion. But if you treat one another as rivals and insist on your own way of planning, other than following rules and guidance of this church, there will be chaos and divisions made by unnecessary and destructive covers.
मेरे काम आती सर आज बात मानो राजी आते हैं नहीं लगाया तो क्या क्या टीवी ने दबाल के जाता काम लोग राजी कानो कानो को टीवी लाइन चुन कर आओ God's blessings and work of Mount Zion will come to stand still. And I as the head of this church will in no way allow this to happen. Zion Christian Church never allows itself to fail. Hello, my name is Christian Church. I am here to focus on the future of the day. How are you doing? How are you doing?